Every word you say, I think I should write down. I don't wanna forget come daylight. Hey, oh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna be curling my hair as I'm talking because I really want it curled for tomorrow for work, and it's easier if I do it at night. So that I don't have to do it all tomorrow. Um, anyways, I know I'm sorry. I haven't posted in a while. I've been going through literally so much stuff with my health and my mental, my mental health and my physical health. And just a lot of different busy lifestyle changes that have been going on. So I thought I'd update you guys on what's going on. And I wanted to do that because something that i got diagnosed with is not very common and i want to work on spreading awareness for it through my social media platforms through instagram facebook whenever i vlog because i'm a live streamer follow my live stream streaming apps that i'm going to put down below um through youtube which is this and i guess on every single platform that i can spread awareness for it so I have been struggling with food allergies for my whole entire life and a lot of you have known that because I've posted videos on that and it's just been a really big struggle like I'm allergic to so many foods I'm intolerant to so many foods so food allergies and food intolerances and sensitivities are all different and it's gonna look different for every single person so for me I've been I've been free of the top eight allergens, which are um, shellfish and or fish, nuts, um, dairy, corn, soy, and I can't even think right now, but there's like the top eight allergens that are the most common allergens. And I've been free of those for basically my whole entire life because I've always had an issue with those. Some of them I'm anaphylactic to, some of them I just get really, really bad stomach pain from. Some fruits and vegetables I get full-blown anaphylactic from. It's like really, really scary. And some don't bother me as much. It just depends on whatever one it it is. And it's so weird, like, because I have oral allergy syndrome slash food pollen allergy syndrome. So, <clears throat> sorry guys, my voice. But so what happens is I'm allergic to raw forms of vegetables. So basically, I've been allergic to so many foods and when I, I got a scope done in August of 2018 and they found high eosinophils in my esophagus. Eosinophils are white blood cell, which is just inflammation. So I got diagnosed with a disease that's called EOE, which is the short version of what it's actually called. So this is a mouthful, so it's called eosinophilic esophagitis. Eosinophilic esophagitis. Now that is a mouthful, and I know it. And every time I tell someone what it's called, people turn their heads and they're like, you have what? And I know it's a mouthful, it's extremely hard to say. Trust me, it's extremely hard to live with. But that's what it's called. It's called eosinophilic esophagitis. And it is an allergic an allergic disease of environmental allergies and food allergies and different things that are causing the inflammation in your esophagus. Now, if that inflammation doesn't go down, sometimes it can be called by acid reflux too. Um, but then it's like, why, you know? So if the inflammation doesn't go down, that can lead to a precancer condition called Barrett's, it's either, I think it's Barrett's, it's Barrett's esophagus, which is a precancerous condition because whenever the esophagus is inflamed and, um, and hurt, damaged sometimes from acid reflux or inflammation, it can just really damage it and change the structure of it. And then it becomes precancerous. It, it and it doesn't always turn to cancer, but it can sometimes. So, anyways, um, I've been working on lowering my inflammation in my esophagus, 
because it just it sucks like sometimes it feels like I have food stuck in my throat sometimes I have an allergic reaction sometimes I can't eat it's just so hard so I've been working with a lot of different doctors just trying to figure out like what is going on with that and it's been really really challenging and actually one of my friends Liv told me on Christmas Eve we had a party um well our families did but she told me that the YouTuber Jeffree Star has the same disease. And I looked it up and she was right. So I think it's pretty cool because he, I'm, I don't think it's cool that he has this at all. But that I can share a similarity between someone because the disease is so rare and it's so new. It's a really hard thing to live with. Um because you never know what's gonna happen. Like I've been to the ER because of this. It's caused a lot of gastro issues for me. My poor stomach has been through the ringer. Um, and you develop a lot of allergies and you don't, you're deficient in a lot of minerals and vitamins. I'm on so many different supplements because I can't have a regular diet because I have so many allergies. Um, I just got put on this. It's called Neocate Splash. It's a medical shake. It's prescription. It's so expensive. Oh my gosh, it's literally so expensive. But it's a hypoallergenic shake that is a food formula. So basically, you can get taken off all food and you can live just on the shake. So it's formulated by doctors, nutritionists, dietitians, so that you can just live on the shakes. Now, I know a couple people that do just live on the shakes, but I am hoping to, and under doctor supervision, I am supplementing with the shakes. So, because I don't get enough food through and nutrition through food, I'm going to be getting it through shakes and supplements. So, it's just extremely challenging, and that, because of that, I have been, it's just been like really emotionally hard. Because I have a lot of other, like, health conditions, too. So, just, like, these past couple months. No, actually, the past, like, six months. It's just been extremely mentally exhausting for me because of these health issues that have been going on. And it's one of the frustrating reasons is because usually how you handle these situations. For example, there's, like, leaky gut syndrome and you have to have your, your gut, um, you know, healthy and... You can reverse certain food allergies by being on certain herbs. Well, I'm allergic to basically all herbs because of all my allergies. I'm allergic to like everything that you use to cure these issues. So it's just really frustrating and I always come like to a blockage because I am allergic to the treatments or the things that you're supposed to do because of it. So it's like like I'm just at like a dead end there's constantly like dead end but how my mind is and with like me standing firm in my faith I try to look at the positives and focus on the things that I can do versus the things that I can't do like I can still sing thank god my vocal cords haven't been damaged from this yet praise the lord um which is what I want to do so because I went to a, a ear nose and throat doctor and they said that my vocal cords cords were not damaged um which is good because sometimes having that disease it can really mess with your vocal cords and that gave me a lot of anxiety because that's what I want to do I love speaking as you can tell I love to talk um and singing songwriting that's like my that's why I feel like I was put on this earth so to have that taken I was just oh my gosh so depressed but it's a challenge and I just wanted to spread awareness for it and that's what I hope you guys listen to and understand. I mean, you're not going to understand it. It's hard to understand. I mean, you don't really get it and unless you get it. <laughs> you don't really understand it unless you have it. So it's just extremely frustrating and <laughs> um, it sucks. But I mean, you got to grow through what you go through. And that's what I'm learning. Like, I'm learning to, to take every day as a blessing and think on the bright side because every situation that you have no matter how bad that it seems it could always be worse even if it seems like it's worst case scenario and 
I don't know, somehow I want to create a community of people to help spread awareness for this disease because it is new and it's so rare and it's weird and doctors don't really understand it yet. It's something that changes you. It changes your life. It changes your perspective on things. Like, I can't go out to eat. I don't ever go out to eat because I'm allergic to everything. And it, one of the first one of the frustrating things is when people say, oh, well, it's gluten-free, you know? Well, it's like, <laughs> I've got about 500 other allergies. It's just so frustrating. So I just encourage you to... If you can eat certain things, just be grateful for it. Be grateful for the portion that you're being given. And if you do have this disease and you want to reach out to me, that'd be cool. I only know a couple people that have this. I'm in a couple support groups on Facebook and that's really helped me a lot. But I just really, really want to focus on my mental health with getting through this because it's not just going to go away on its own unless God wants to heal it for me, which I'm totally fine with. But um, you just got to learn to grow through and, and just heal from, from what, what you're dealing with. And I think mental health plays a huge part in overall health. I don't care what anyone tells me. I don't care what any doctor tells me, what any other person tells me. It definitely does. And I just think that because I've been so stressed out because of my health, it's created more issues for me. And it's so much easier said than done just to say, oh, just don't be stressed or, oh, just trust God or, oh, just this or just that. And it's like, it's so easy to say, but whenever it's you in the situation, as with a lot of situations, you react differently. And that's what I'm learning from this. And I'm a Christian and I believe in God and I believe in Jesus and... I believe that he has a plan for this in my life, but just being, just because I believe in that and I have my faith, that doesn't mean that the way that I feel is going to go away. So I'm trying to trust through the process and learn from it and grow from it and encourage others through it and take every day as a blessing and not take it for granted and not take for granted this life that we have. It just has put everything into perspective for me and it's frustrating a lot of the times I'm not gonna lie I do get jealous of other people whenever I see them eating certain things or if they complain about what they what they don't like it's just like oh I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> like, if I could just have one more thing right now I'm eating rice butternut squash spaghetti squash, water, chicken, and oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, and chicken, and potatoes. That's pretty much all my safe foods right now. So it's definitely really frustrating. And I guess one of the most frustrating things is because I remember what food tastes like. And I can st I still have my senses, so when I smell, oh my gosh, it's just like, oh, it sucks. But, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta, gotta keep on a good path, and you can't do anything about it, so you focus on the things that you can do. So, I just wanted to come on here and update you guys. And I am going to be doing more singing videos, and I do have a project that's going to be ready in a couple months. It's a song called Caged In that I wrote, and I have a couple co-writers on it, which I'm super excited to announce. And yeah, make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. It's Jenna Harmon with two N's, J-E-N-N-A-H-A-R-M-O-N-N. -N -N. Um, follow my Twitter, and make sure you subscribe. Click the subscribe button down below or up top, wherever it's at. And yeah let me know what you guys think do you have you guys ever heard of this disease before do you know anyone that has it are you maybe having some symptoms of it um but yeah if you're ever feeling like maybe you do make sure you go to your doctor and get diagnosed properly um yeah that's pretty much it well i appreciate you guys and i will see you in my next video god bless